All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome to another Sindel gameplay video. Of course, as always, thanks to, thank you to WB for allowing me to capture this early gameplay. And leave a like on the video if you guys have been enjoying the early Sindel gameplay. Look at the booty bump. Unfortunately, I didn't really have a lot of time to um, check out some of her crushing blows, so I don't know what the requirement is for the booty bump crushing blow. And I wasn't really able to check out, you know, really too many combos in general. But this is like my first maybe five minutes of training mode, just going through a couple moves. Usually, once you find out the combo strings of a character, you kind of get an idea of what, what goes where when you combo. Uh, it just depends on, uh, you know, how far you could take it. And a little bit later on, you guys will see that I, I started to get a couple of ideas of, you know, some creative stuff to do with Sindel. And I'm happy to report that you could actually do some cool creative stuff with Sindel. Uh, more so than a lot of characters in the game because she has, um, she has different options in the air and also on the ground to be able to get combos. Like this move, for example, you guys are seeing on the screen. Um, the low, by the way, is actually back two. I thought it was a special move the whole time until like afterwards when I was playing through the tower and I'm like, I just did a back two and it launched the opponent. So the back two is actually a launcher. But this move right here is super cool because it's kind of like a katana float. You could uh, do a jump two, then you could do the float, then you could do a jump one, and then you could land on the ground and still get a combo. Or a little bit later on, you guys will see, after the jump one, you could actually call in the Banshee and meter burn it and then still be able to get another jump. And it's really cool looking. Um, this move right here is like a, a little orb that you put and it sends out unblockable you know, damage to the opponent. You could actually grab the opponent, obviously, and get a little bit extra damage. It kind of reminds me of Devorah's bug, just that this move is unblockable and it does like 1%. Um, but... I, I pretty much wanted to do first impressions on Sindel. Uh, I played her for about 40 minutes. It was, um, you know, maybe 10 minutes of training mode. Actually, a little bit less of training mode. I played the classic tower and I captured her, her, her gear. Her gear looks amazing, especially her human gear. I like that they gave her a couple different hairstyles. Um, she has a lot of variety in her moves. But as far as the, the basic character, by the time you guys see this, I know there would have been a combat cast already. Um, so you guys probably get a good idea of the basics of Sindel. I'm just giving you guys my first impressions after playing her. Uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. This, uh, after doing that, it was in my mind like, man, can you actually do this and then the jump and then the float and then the banshee? And yeah, it fucking works. And I was super excited because in MK11, there's not a lot of things where you're like, man, I have this in my head. Could this actually work? As you guys see, all that comboed and that looks fucking amazing. That's what I'm talking about right there. Um, I didn't test out if you could actually connect with the Banshee in the air while your opponent's in the air. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of moves that you can't put together. Like, for example, the Banshee. You can't partner it with... Um, with the float and also the hair flip that launches the opponent because the hair flip actually costs two bars. The Banshee and the flip are one bar, or the hover, I should call it. Um, so this is actually variation number two. Um, just real quick, uh, Sindel's core moveset is actually really good because she has a couple of mix-ups in between a couple of strings, especially with uh, you know some custom moves, like for example, the overhead flip. You could go into a mid low overhead or of course you can go into the mid overhead instead of the mid low she has a lot of moves like that um, she also has a lot of good mids that she could go to uh, to check your opponent she has an incredible incredible long ranging move i don't remember if it's a mid or a high but god damn it goes three fourths of the screen uh with the like the pole like dragon naginata pole that, uh, that Tanya had. It, I think it's forward 2 1, and oh my lord, it has crazy range. Um, if you're. If you hit it from like medium range, you could still get the hair flip to combo. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Do it from mid screen, you could do it from the corner. Unfortunately, I didn't get the timing down right to continue the combo. Like, that's the extent of the, the, the combo that you guys are gonna see, because I didn't. 
I, I just could not get the, the timing down right for that jump too, because it seems like they nerfed it from the trailer. It used to hit downwards from the trailer. It looks like it hits downwards. Right here, it does not hit downwards anymore, at least not as much as it did in the trailer. But anyway, um, yeah, Sindel's forward two has like ridiculous range. It might be the longest ranging normal move in the game. It's so good. Uh, it goes into two different options. I don't remember if they're safe or not. I remember one of them is low. And the good thing about that, of course, is uh, you can do the hair flip instead and turn into a, you know, overhead instead of a low at the end. Um, she doesn't have a projectile as her default move set, but she does have a projectile base uh, variation, which is her variation number three. She actually has a float where she just flies in the air and hangs up there. You can't do anything like in her base move. You can't do anything with it. You could just go forward. You could forward forward air dash uh, back air dash. And it's actually really quick. I could see people trolling with it and running away with it. That's definitely something that you guys are going to see online. Um, but other than that, I didn't find it useful because you cannot come down and cancel it into a special move with her like normal move set. Uh, I'm sure that there's a custom move that you could do something with it. Um, but I didn't get a chance to use all the moves. But as far as uh, her variation number one, it's the hair flip. That, that's going to be the, the go-to variation at the start because it's so, it's so like, obvious what you could do with that variation. Now, variation number two is this one that I'm using right here, which has the float or the hover, and it has the Banshee. The Banshee is only, um, it's only one, one slot, uh, and you could meter burn her, of course, and the Banshee is actually a, a physical hit, and then if you meter burn it, you could teleport to the Banshee. And it has so much hit stun that you could get a jump two, jump one, jump three, whatever you want, follow up. And that's going to be really, really cool to hit in combos. Just like some of like the attempts that you guys are seeing here. I just could not get the timing down right. And I didn't have enough time because this was like at the end of my recording session. I only had like three minutes left. I'm like, let me see if this works. That it's in my head right now. I really want to see if this works. And it actually worked. I couldn't believe it. Um, but... The third move that she uses in her second variation is the uh, the Banshee, like, on the ground. It's pretty much just her Canary Cry on the ground, and that's it. You could hold it, you could cancel it. Uh, same thing goes for her normal Canary Cry. You could cancel it, you could hold it, or you could meter burn it for, uh, for extra damage, and she, like, walks towards the opponent. Uh, her variation number three has the low projectile where she like goes really low to the ground. That's going to be really good to avoid other projectiles. Uh, it seems like she goes really, really low to the ground. And the other move that she has is like the starfire type where she like shoots projectiles downward. Uh, and I think she might have another move after that. Yeah, she has the orb. Like she puts out the orb on top of you and it shoots out the unblockable little orbs that I showed you guys earlier. Um, but Sindel my first impressions of Sindel were this chick is really fun uh, she has a lot of tools that is gonna make her really good in mk11 she has long ranging attack she has good mids uh, I didn't I think she has like a seven frame down one uh, she has a lot of uh, variety as far as her playstyle, which is all we want she has a zoning variation she has like a mixed variation with the overhead and she has a combo potential variation with the float and the air banshee but other than that thank you so much for watching today's video ladies and gentlemen and i'll see you guys next time what's going on it's super here and thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did and you aren't subscribed already make sure you guys do so and if you want to see some more there's videos popping up on the screen right now so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time